I'm allowed to sit down. I'm allowed to sit down. Even for things most people do standing. I'm allowed to alter the task at hand to make it less physically demanding. This is one of my favorite Inuit children's books, Mama Do You Love Me? I'm currently almost 24 weeks pregnant and I cannot wait to read this to my kid. It has the most beautiful illustrations. The story is about how much the mom loves the child and it ties in so many things from Inuit culture. The little girl asking, what if I broke the ptarmigan eggs? And the mom saying, I would still love you. What if I put salmon in your parka or lemmings in your mukluks? Or what if I ran away? And what if I stayed away and sang with the wolves and slept in a cave? And the mom says, I would be very sad but still I would love you. What if I turned into a muskox or turned into a walrus or a polar bear? The mom says I would be very surprised and very scared but still inside the bear you would be and I would love you. This story is so cute and precious and was always one of my favorites growing up.
Come live with us in the palace. There's a room waiting for you. Come on, just let us adore you. Come live with us in the palace. There's a room waiting for you. Come on, come on, just let us adore you. Come live with us in the palace. There's a room waiting for you. Come on, come on, come on, just let us adore you today. Come live with right us here in the palace. Right now. There's a room waiting for I'll you. Come on, come on, I've already found someone. Just let us adore you. It's the end of tomato season and I've been craving this childhood tomato omelette that my mom made all the time when I was a kid. So let's make it together. I feel like fish sauce and MSG are two ingredients that people tend to be afraid of or unfamiliar with, but they're delicious. Oh, Cass called me in the middle of cooking and told me they also wanted tomato egg, but they want it scrambled. So we're gonna pivot and go in that direction instead. I'm adding a ton more sauces and luckily I saw the molds in my oyster sauce before I added it in. Don't be an idiot like me and forget to refrigerate your oyster sauce. Finally, for the star of the show, our tomato. These are the last of the season, and when they're this ripe, they taste like candy to me. Also, green onions belong in almost everything. Bite me on this. This dish comes together in a matter of minutes, and it's a delicious way to get tons of protein in. If you prefer a softer, almost silky, soupy consistency, you can mash up your tomatoes a bit, but because I was craving more firmness in my eggs, I went in this direction with a hot, fresh bowl of fluffy white rice. This dish really can't be beat. It hits the spot every single time. Try some.
So we fell through the door like the autumn leaves And I rest on my brother down to his knees Just to watch as the rocket shot into the October sky There's a picture Cause you say you have to fly